Jefferson City is dealing with some bus delays this week as one family says their child was on a school bus for around three hours on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Drakus. I'm Lucas Geisler. The district is in its first school year with Student Transportation of America. And a district spokesperson says some delays are to be expected to start the year. ABC 17's Morgan Burris joins us live in studio now. Morgan, the family you spoke to says they're hopeful their issue has been resolved. Yeah, Megan Lucas, a foster parent I spoke with today says he's been in contact with Student Transportation of America to resolve the issue and he's hopeful it sticks. He says the amount of time his child spent on the school bus this week was unacceptable. He had ridden the bus for just over three hours on the way home. As a three-year-old, um, it's just too long. Chad Durstein is the foster parent to a child who attends Jefferson City Southwest Early Childhood Center. After late buses on Monday and Tuesday, he contacted the district to try to find a solution. It's scary. Uh, try to put yourself in a three-year-old's shoes sitting on a bus for three hours. A district spokesperson says the route Durstein's child is on is a specialized route that goes throughout the entire district, confirming a delay that affected several students on Tuesday. In response to his concerns, Durstein says he was told STA is now putting his child on a separate bus with a dispatcher and monitor and no other children to ensure the hours-long bus ride doesn't happen again. Which I guess is okay if that's viable for, for them, but I, I don't see how that's a very viable uh, solution long term. So I'm really curious to see how it plays out. He wants to make sure a situation like this doesn't happen again for his child or others. Jefferson City Schools says if you have any concerns about your student transportation, you should reach out directly to Student Transportation of America. Thank you, Morgan. A district spokesperson says transportation issues usually get resolved in the first few weeks of school.